shortly after the Second World War, from deep in the heart of Soviet Russia, emerged two pianists whose combination of virtuosity, physical power and intellectual rigor were to startle audiences in the West. <laughs> Sviatoslav Richter and Emil Gillels grew up in a culture when great music was still being written for them by composers like Dmitry Shostakovich and Sergei Prokofiev. They also evolved as musicians at a time when music was closely identified with the fate of a nation in crisis and at war. definitely had a very special sound of his own. The golden sound, so to say. Every great pianist has a sound of his or her own, an intonation. But some pianists, like for example Horowitz or Gillis, cared for the sound for the sake of the sound. And that's probably what made their sound so special and so personal. Sviatoslav Richter was, like Gilels, a pupil of Heinrich Neuhaus, but Neuhaus later claimed that he had been able to teach Richter nothing. Possessing both exquisite delicacy of touch and a huge range of sonorities, 
Richter was also an overwhelming physical presence of the keyboard, a combination which awed and sometimes intimidated his colleagues. experimented during the concerts as he did that during practicing so that's why his concerts uh, his concerts were so interesting and so unpredictable я думаю что там не было тогда процесс совместного музицирования он был слишком мощен для меня uneasy or difficult moments uh, of his performances. But when he uh, reached uh, the full concentration, I've never heard more demanding performances uh, from any other pianists. His virtuosity was transcendental. Nevertheless, It was never virtuosity for the sake of virtuosity. 